the mother of Akshay Chand says she just wanted her son home on bail and had no idea that he would kill Christy Marceau. Suchita Chand has given evidence at the inquest into the death of the 18-year-old her son stabbed to death. She told the inquest at the Auckland District Court that she and her sister had agreed to supervise her son while he was out on bail for kidnapping Miss Marceau at knife point. A month later, Akshay Chan stabbed Miss Marceau to death at her family home, just a two-minute walk away from his bail address. Our court reporter, Eddie Gay, who does such a brilliant job of covering these heroin cases, Eddie, was in court. Now, uh, Mrs Chan was at court for several bail hearings, was she? That's right. I, I think it's four in total. Right. She initially told the inquest today that she couldn't remember having discussions with her son's lawyer, Mary Ann Lowe, about her and her sister supervising her son 24 hours, seven days a week, if he got bail. However, during cross-examination from Miss Lowe's lawyer, Stuart Greve QC, she confirmed that she had given uh, such an undertaking to the lawyer. At one point, the Chan's lawyer, Alex Witten Hanna, pointed out that adult supervision wasn't actually one of the conditions of bail. Um, Mrs Chan said she was never consulted by the police or the court. She had nothing in writing about what her responsibilities were. She confirmed to the lawyer assisting the coroner, Hannah Janes, that she was bewildered and stressed to have her son in, in court. Uh, she said that no one was there to help her and clarify what her responsibilities were once her son got bail. Uh, Mrs Chan had concerns for her safety, right? That's right, and, and that of her daughter. She, she told the inquest that she actually hid the knives, the family kitchen knives, in a compartment in the oven. And in the week before her son killed Miss Marceau, she told the court that she left one of the knives out because she believed uh, her son was, was feeling better. She also confirmed she was aware how close the Marceaus lived uh, close by. Under questioning from Coroner Catherine Grieg, Mrs Chan said she believed her son would be better after being on antidepressants on this medication that he was put on after being released on bail. She said she couldn't read her son's mind, but she said she had no idea he'd be able to do what he did. Uh, the inquest heard how a month after getting bail, Chan took that two-minute walk mm. around the corner to the mm. Marceau's house. Uh, also heard from was Shale Chan, who's Akshay's sister? Yeah, that's right. Shale said that she was terrified for her own safety. That's what she told the police in a statement. She, uh, she said that... Uh, today at the inquest that she spent as many nights as possible at, a, at her friends' homes uh, around the area. Uh, the inquest has heard that the judge who granted Chan bail was told Miss Chan was a university student who could, who was another sort of, um, I guess, adult figure at the house who could help supervise uh, her brother. But Miss Chan says she was still at high school at the time, 17 years old, finishing up her, I believe it was her year 12 uh, exams. She described on, on the morning in November 2011 finding her brother gone from the family house. Uh, she knew her brother was on this 24-hour curfew um, and uh, that he wasn't in the house and she phoned her mother straight away at work. Inquest continuing? That's right, yeah. Edward Gay, thank you. Uh, really appreciate it, Eddie.